What's going on everybody? Here with another bracket um, for 2018. So let's get right into it. The number one seed, number one seed's never lost for 16 seed. So of course I have Virginia being UMBC. And then going down to number eight versus number nine, Creighton, Kansas State. I have Kansas State doing that uh, going on. Um, yeah, they have Deion Wade that's been averaging 16.5, and even though they've been struggling a little bit, I feel like they'll at least be able to make it past Creighton. Uh, Kentucky vs. Davidson, I don't know. Personally, I just really don't like Kentucky, and even though they've been high recently, uh, I kind of just hope Davidson's going to win. So that's so why I put them. Arizona um, with DeAndre Eaton, or Eaton um, and they've been really hot, especially with um, uh, the unfortunate coaching scandal. Um I feel like they're definitely going to beat Buffalo. Miami, Florida versus Loyal Chicago. Loyal Chicago, I believe, 28-5. And, and uh, really, I was not I mean, the strength of schedule isn't too terribly hard, but should be able to beat Miami. Tennessee versus White State. Tennessee has pretty much come out of nowhere and uh, been a pretty much powerhouse school this year and will be able to beat White State. Nevada versus Texas. Texas has one of the best defenses in the co country and um, will be able to handle Nevada's. Uh, offense, Cincinnati, of course, just beat Georgia State, Xavier, and then Missouri with Michael Porter Jr. back, um, I feel like we'll be able to handle Florida State at least, Ohio State for South Dakota State, uh, this will be upset, I feel like, uh, South Dakota State is one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country, and Ohio State's been struggling, um, they have K-to-base D up, but besides that, they've really been struggling with talent, uh, Gonzaga should be able to beat UNC Green, no problem, Houston, um, They've been another team that's kind of come out of the woodwork and not a whole lot of teams expected to, I mean, of course, be average, but not anything great. And then Michigan's my team. Uh, I feel like with uh, Wagner and uh, with Wagner. Um, and uh, Duncan Robinson, they've only lost one game if he has a, a six or more points, so they'll definitely be able to get that at least. Uh, Providence has... Um, they lost by 10 overtime to Villanova in the, the finals of the um, tournament. And then, so should be able to beat a &M. North Carolina will beat uh, Lipscomb. Moving on to the other side of the bracket. Uh, once again, number one season of lost at 16. Don't see it happening now, even though the team this year haven't really been anything special. Uh, so Villanova beat uh, uh, the 16 opponent. Um, and then Alabama with Colin Sexton should be able to handle Virginia Tech. West Virginia, uh, even though they've been struggling, they've been really just off and on team. The point guard is just really, I mean, definitely see him going on playing the next level. Uh, and should be able to ha handle Murray State. Upper Trust State is always the team that uh, almost seems like team to beat. And should be able to handle Marshall. Florida, they started out the season like fifth in the country. They've had some struggles, lost to some pretty poor uh, opponents, but should be able to handle uh, whoever they face in the uh, 11 seed. Um, Texas Tech uh, should be able to beat Stephen F. Austin. Arkansas, um, uh, I feel like we'll be able to handle Butler. Purdue, uh, Vincent Edwards, and they have some other great spot up three point shooters. Be able to handle uh, SCF. Um, Following whatever the name is, <laughs> no problem. Uh, Kansas uh, beat Penn, uh, NC State beat Seton Hall, and uh, Clemson beat New Mexico State. And Auburn beat Charleston. Auburn's been really struggling, and um, um, so I don't see them advancing farther than just winning their first game. TCU started out the year really hot, got in top twenty-five. It's kind of cooled off, um, but they should be able to beat. Either Arizona State or Syracuse, whoever they play there. Who Arizona State really start off the year hard, and a lot of people thought that they had a chance to be a number one seed. But so it would be interesting for that game if Arizona State beats Syracuse. Uh, Michigan State uh, should be able to beat Bucknell. And then Rhode Island, Oklahoma. I first I had Oklahoma for this uh, with Trey Young, and um, I felt like even now, I think they finished 18 13. Um, but yeah, Rhode Island is, I mean, the RPI 13. And um, we should be able to handle Oklahoma, no problem. Uh, Duke, Iona, I don't see this being another, another uh, Lee I. Duke, as that was like in 2011, 2012, so they should be able to beat Iona. 
Marvin Bagley and Gary Trent Jr. and Grayson Allen, as long as he doesn't trip anybody. Um, uh, so, moving on to the second round, Virginia beat Kansas State. Virginia is one of the best defenses in the country, and Kansas State won't be able to match that. Davidson beat Arizona. I mean, not, sorry, Arizona beat Davidson. Uh, Loyal Chicago, even though I'm moving for them, uh, I feel like the, the March Madness is going to end there, and Tennessee will be able to beat them. Texas to Cincinnati. Um, Cincinnati has a good chance, I feel like, but I still put Texas on top just because of Mohamed Bamba and some other big men that they have. Um, should be able to handle Cincinnati. Xavier, Missouri, you know, they have Michael Porter Jr. He's just still coming back from injury, so still trying to work off that bug. Um, it won't be, of course, at his full uh, 100%, and so Xavier should be able to handle them. And then Gonzaga will be able to beat South Dakota State. Michigan beat Houston. Um, Michigan's been only giving up around like 63 points per game and uh, should be able to handle Houston, no problem. Problem is North Carolina, even though this would be a very tight game, I feel like, especially because North Carolina has been wavering in the past, um, especially this year. Uh, North Carolina should handle them. Um, moving on to the other side, bracket round two. Villanova should beat Alabama, West Virginia, Wichita State. That would be another close game because West Virginia, at times, have blown up teams, but other times have just lost by 20 or some or so against um, teams they should have beat. Uh, Florida, Texas Tech, uh, Texas Tech should win that. Arkansas, or Arkansas. Uh, Purdue, once again, Purdue just has really great spot-up shooters, and um, I forgot who the big man is, but or Isaac Haas. Um, and he's been really just a, a monster um, down low. So Kansas, NC State, uh, Kansas should win that. Clemson, Auburn, Auburn just been really struggling lately. Clemson's point guard, I feel like, will lead them to that win. Uh, Michigan State, TCU, Michigan State, and Duke, Rhode Island, of course, Duke. So moving on to the Sweet 16, uh, Virginia, Arizona, even though Virginia has one of the best defense, well, not one of, it's the best defenses in the country. Uh, Arizona will be able to top them with DeAndre Eaton. And um, Tennessee, Texas, even though I like Texas, uh, uh, with Mohamed Bamba and whatnot, um, I feel like Tennessee will be able to top them. Xavier, Virginia, uh, oh, Xavier, Gonzaga, sorry. Xavier, um, number one seed. Um, and, uh, I mean, I feel like they'll be able to top Gonzaga. Michigan, North Carolina, they played earlier this year, and I believe North Carolina won by, like, 19 or so. But Michigan, of course, is a much better team now than they were last year, and they beat Purdue once out of three times, beating Michigan State twice, uh, split with Ohio State, and um, beat a pretty decent UCLA team as well and some other decent opponents. So I feel like they'll be able to top uh, North Carolina's team. And then moving we'll on to Sweet 16 on the side of the bracket, Villanova, West Virginia. This will be the end of the road for West Virginia, and Villanova will be able to top them. Purdue, Texas Tech. Purdue wins. Uh, and then Kansas, Clemson. I feel like that's just going to be pretty much a blowout for Can uh, like Kansas. Kansas is just going to absolutely destroy them. Michigan State, Duke. This is going to be a very close game with Mar Marvin Bagley. And then um, Miles Bridges and uh, all those, um, just the weapons that both teams have on offense. And defense, but I mean, well, Duke has been really suffering on defense, but so as long as they are able to outscore them, and well, I guess that's how you win games, but um, but as long as Duke is just able to uh, shoot well from the field, they should be able to win. Um, moving on to Elite Eight, uh, Arizona, Tennessee, Arizona should be able to win that. Uh, Xavier, Michigan, this would be a very close game, and uh. And as long as Michigan sh can shoot well from the three, Muhammad Abdul Vakmad, uh, Xavier Simpson, who's been off and on, Duncan Robinson, uh, Charles Matthews, who's a Kentucky transfer, um, Wagner, and uh, Jordan Poole is a phenomenal freshman. Um, they should be able to top Xavier. And then Villanova Purdue. Villanova has been one of those teams that I don't. I mean, yes, they're the number one seed, and yes, they're a 34 record, but. I feel like also they haven't had that hard of a schedule this year. And I feel like Purdue will be able to um, top them. Uh, Kansas-Duke, another close game, but I feel like Duke's going to come up on top and come down to the Final Four. Um, 
Arizona, Michigan, even though I'm a huge Michigan fan and hope they win it all, of course. Uh, I feel like Arizona will top them. And then Purdue, Duke will be a great game again. Uh, but Duke will be able to top them. And then I have Arizona versus Duke in the National Championship game. And I believe Duke is going to win. They're just going to um, pretty much overpower Arizona. And uh, I believe it will be a close game, but Duke's going to come out on top. So, yeah, let me know what you think uh, for your bracket and push your bracket in the comments. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.